hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be revisiting a topic I've done before, and that is making rockets with AI using Midjourney. This time I've decided to do things slightly differently than last time. First of all, I won't be generating a blueprint of a rocket, I'm just going to be generating an image of a rocket, and secondly I'm going to be having a bit more creative freedom on this one compared to the last one, and also I'm going to be doing this in two parts. So let's get into the build. So here's a look at the AI image I generated of the rocket we're going to be building today. I think the image looks great personally, however I'm going to be taking a few parts off because they don't really look that great. For example this weird booster on the back that doesn't really fit in I don't think, because we just want to have this similar to a space shuttle but slightly different. So we're going to have the main body here as the space shuttle, but a cargo variant. And then we're going to have the two side boosters, of course. Speaking of the side boosters, I have built the engine for one of these already before recording. And as you can see on the bottom, they have this little blue bit on the end of the plume. And that's what I've kind of come up with using Ember with this custom plume here. So the first part we're going to build is, of course, the boosters. The entire plan here for the boosters is that I really wanted that bit at the bottom where the engine nozzle is. And I really wanted it to be nice and rounded. So I decided to design the entire upper portion of the booster first so I can fit it around that. So I started stacking fuselages on top of each other, trying to make indents so it wasn't as flat, using the colour scheme of the booster itself, and then building my way up until I got to the nose cone. I tried out a few of the base game nose cones and decided that the shape was too complex for it to be a base game nose cone, so I decided to make a custom one of course. And as it happens, I'm very finicky with these, so if it's not perfect, I'm just going to keep editing it until it's absolutely perfect for how I want it to look. So that's what I did. And I think for now, the nose cone is pretty good. So now that most of the booster is done, we're going to go to the bottom and do that rounded bit I was talking about. It won't be too complex, just a round shroud, but I wanted to conform it to the rocket engine's nozzle, so it looked nice and smooth. And it doesn't look perfect, but that's what I think I'll go with. And finally, I decided to work on the one piece of detail I can see on the booster, which is a small pipe. I'm going to teach you some quick tips here for pipes, just in case you don't know. What I like to do is set two of the corners to a square and then put that side into the fuel tank. It makes it look better in my opinion and also fit better to the rocket. And secondly, you want to place bracing on the side of the pipe. Basically, you want to copy the pipe, shorten it down and then move it inside the pipe. Then what you can do is duplicate the brace down and connect it to the other brace. Then to get a consistent dispersion, turn up the grid size and then increase it by one every single time you duplicate. Very easy. So before we move on to the main part of the rocket, let's test the booster. And it looks like it's flying well, so let's move on to building the main body of the rocket. I'm going to start off by building the bottom of the rocket and focusing on placing the engines in. It looks like these engines are running on Carolox and not Hydrolox, so I'm going to do Carolox. Since I couldn't easily determine how many engines were on this AI image, I decided to go with 7 engines in a hex pattern. It's not the prettiest looking, but I'll try and fix that in the next video. Next we're going to continue building up the tank. And of course we're going to add a nose cone on the top. There isn't going to be a fairing on this rocket. We're instead going to replace two of the fuel tanks with cargo bays just like a shuttle would have. I think there's enough space in here to fit a decent sized payload. So let's move on to the final part of this build which is the control surfaces at the end of the rocket. I started by building these up with fuel tanks just to make a smooth curve just like you can see on the image. I then added the grey stripe and then finally I added the wing which of course has a control surface on it. After all this was done, I decided to place the boosters on some interstages and put them onto the side of the rocket in roughly the same orientation they are in the image. Then I decided to do some balancing so I would move the boosters more inwards so they weren't flipping the rocket out when it was launching like you can see it keeps doing here. And finally we do a little test launch to see how it runs. And this is how it looks so far. It's definitely not my best work and I'm really not good at building these complex shapes. But in the next video we're going to paint it better, we're going to put a payload in, we're going to fix a few things and of course add some detail. I might even ask ChatGPT to generate some detail ideas for me. As always massive thanks to our Patreons Pedro and Dazix for supplying the funding for the music you can hear in this video. And as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.